It's a market cap trick. That's what Richard's doing. A market cap trick. Yes. You see, if he backs PDI with the sacrifice funds and then he does the turbo loop, he can get Pulse to reprice higher artificially with the liquidity pool pushing it up and everything bonded to it goes up. So, man, friends, it's, an, it's a market cap trick. I've gone insane, by the way. It's a market cap trick. <laughs> they won't be able to. How, how are they going to gatekeep that one? They won't know. Friends, we might see. Uh, look, I think CoinGecko and these and DeFi Llama, they might just have to just gatekeep us completely once if they figure out what's going on. But how can they? No one's ever done anything like this before. So before they figure it out, um, we're going to have like the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be funny. We're going to have one of the biggest TVLs in crypto. We're going to have like billions and billions. I'll show you. So if, if you go and type in Pulse Chain TVL, okay, chain rankings, Pulse Chain, right? Friends, he's going <laughs> to... He's going to... He's, he's, he's going to cheat it. It's, he's going to cheat it. <laughs> they, they won't, the best part is they're not going to know what the fuck is going on. This is why it's funny. Because he's going... yeah. If the friends, if you back the PDI with a dollar, yeah, and then you mint it, and then you have the farms, and they're all bonded, yeah, <laughs> and he's using the PDI to reprice it up, and he can, I think, he can mint more PDI <laughs> and then reprice it up higher. All the prices are just going to be like this giant, giant market cap valuation out here. And it, our TVL is going to, like, be a huge number. And it will, yeah, and it'll be gold, friends. It'll, it'll be gold because you have all these assets, these P tokens that are, like, much, much, much higher than now. Um, it's a market cap trick. It is. Interesting. It is very interesting. And um, <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you right now, man, if he pulls this off, okay, you know the word cope? Okay. You know in Oxford Dictionary, they're going to have to make another page for the word cope because he is going to send the whole industry into emergency panic mode <laughs> because they, 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 don't, they won't know what the fuck is going on. It, friends, it'll literally be like, I don't know if you guys know, when Hex first launched, because of the origin address, the market cap was giant. But then after a few months, they caught on to what was going on. Then they had to gatekeep it, all of it. So Hex is still gatekept today. Um, it's gonna, it, it'll be a while. They won't, they, they won't know what the hell is going on with uh, with Pulse Chain. That they won't know um, at the start. So that, that's going to be very, very, very fun. But then you're going to have like an Eric Wall write an essay about what happened, and they're going to go, oh, he bought up this other coin, and the origin address instead of buying the cause. It went and backed this coin, which he conveniently owned more of. So then he could go spend it, but then he could go buy the cores, reprice them higher, and then go mint more and do this hyperloop up. Um, but 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 who cares? By by that point, friends, like we've we've gone up probably like fifty or hundred x. So <laughs> that, that that's, that that's the fun part. That'd be the fun part. So in, in, I've given you this like top down philosophical point of. Yeah, man, I'm just, I'm, I'm adamant about this. There's, there's going to be like just some, when the, the euphoria phase, start, it won't, I can't even call it euphoria. It'll be like this fireworks event. There won't be any euphoria. It'll be, it'll be like, what's going on? What, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Just all these prices start moving up, like big, 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 big green candles. Like I'll just show you what Hex look like. I'll show you Hex friends on a weekly chart. It wouldn't just, when it starts just doing this. Okay. When it starts doing this. Okay, just watch it <laughs> and then bang and then bang watch bang you see that you see this friends you think it's done yet no here we go again bang 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 friends by the way that, those are weekly charts week 
you had to to get that big fat green candle on the week every time you saw that gap up you needed to pump it like every day of that week just straight seven days euphoria to get that um yeah so this thing uh, this, this gonna be fucking funny man uh what he does if it pulls off you might even see like a reinterpretation of Justin's son's chain, Tron, trying to do something like this. I got, I got a feeling, I got a feeling Justin's son, he's he's going to figure out what um, what Richard did and he's going to do his own thing. Um, because if we take over, friends, remember, we have all the product market fit of all the season. And so, and Justin's very good. He, Justin, just to let you guys know, he is, he's very, very smart. He's just like Richard, okay? Uh, different way, but he is, he's very, very, very smart as well. Um, so, so I don't know if he's smart. I don't worry about that ego competition, but he can look at what Richard's doing and then he can kind of figure it out and he'll do his own like stable. Co- I, I've got a feeling something like that w- will play out because Justin would know how to do it, but it will be some like reimagining, um, you know, like some little bullshit version of that. But, Oh man, like you want to be on the unicorn fence. That'd be that'd be amazing. If the, if he actually does that, fence, because it's a T it's a TV old trick. See, it's a TV old trick. Now, there's a concern though. What about if people dump and stuff? Well, this is the Richard Hart game theory. If they dump, they dump into P die and they reinforce the peg. Okay? So they're they're thickening up the the belief of P die. Okay, so that that's what I'll let you know. I looked at USDC, I looked at USDT. Now I see what Richard sees. Okay. None of us paid attention in 2021 because every time Richard spoke of stable coins, we're like, that's toxic. What is that? No one cares about stable coins, but I'm just letting you know. See, you and I think, friends, what I thought at the start was, okay, once it pegs, a hundred percent of people leave. Wrong. You don't get that. You don't get a hundred percent of people leaving. You get a percentage. Not 100%. Okay. Um, that's the 5D chess, by the way. But by the way, to do this, friends, you you really, you got to know markets, like re- you inside out. You got to know markets. You got to understand auction theory. You got to understand incentives. Uh, and you got to run some experiments as well. It's probably his Pulsex stuff in 2023. You got to run some experiments to tweak. Um, yeah, you got to know a lot of these things. This is, um, but that's why I remember we've been saying the whole time. I don't know, bro. He's the billionaire, not me. I don't know how this is going to work out. I'll just tell you right now. We're cheap. You remember that? That's all you need. Well, it's the same thing that's going on here. So right now we do see, right? Pete, I, I mean, Pete, I is now done 10,000 X from the bottom. When he gets to a dollar friends, um, fuck man, you just, you know how scared I am when he gets to a dollar. I just want to. I'm actually scared. Everyone else is excited for a dollar. I'm scared because I, 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 it's like you're watching Godzilla just running through little Tokyo cities and you're just watching it. And it's amazing. Like the Godzilla, this event would be, what do people do once it's there? Okay. Now, obviously a lot of people have voted prevents. I know I, I don't trust the votes because like, a thousand people on Twitter can say, I will go buy the core coins. Yeah, a thousand people can say that, but one guy with 600 million P die can go and, and uh, take something out. But I just, has he done anything before where there's a crack in the system? No. No, he hasn't. Okay. Yeah. Now, you can talk about hex down 99% and all those things. It, forget that part, bro. That's bear market stuff. Okay. You can't control. The people paper handing bottoms part. Did he get it to do the ten thousand X though? Yes. Because I'll, I'll tell you something, friends. I, I think about this at night. Okay, I think about this at night. I do think sometimes. I think about so, friends. I, I don't want to tell you this. Okay, let's go back. You and I four years ago. Let's go for, back four years ago. We are in hex right now, and the price is it's basically one cent. You see one cent hex. Here we are right now. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Let's say you knew that Richard had Ethereum and he was going to sell the top and pump Hex. Let's say you and I knew that. Let's say I literally said, hey, I've been able, able to mog all the non-believers and I can actually see the future. I've got a crystal ball. Okay. Um, remember Hex, the better Bitcoin? I'm with the, my same fees today. I'm going to go back four years ago. 
I'm going to step into the shoes of you and I together and I'm going to use those same fears to try to like FUD the air a bit, okay? And I'm going to be proven wrong because we know hex hits 55 cents. So what I would actually do is I go back into the past and I say, okay, Richard's got, and I'm going to show you got the emoji here, okay? So Richard's got ETH friends. Richard's got ETH right here, all right? He's got 150,000 ETH, just estimate, right? We don't know. 150,000 ETH. Now, 150,000 ETH, you got to think about this, okay? Um, let's say he was going to use half of it to pump the hex price. Just using an example. 75,000 ETH times an average sell price, let's say $3,500. That's the top. It's 260 million. Okay, 260 million, all right. The top of Hex had, I think about 100 million USDC, okay. But we know for a fact, there were a shitload of people cashing out along the way. One guy, the biggest, I think the biggest from the data, shout out to Ben Sierra, I think, he did the data, one guy cashed out 14 million. I think that was rank one. Rank two, I think cashed out 10 million from one wallet. So someone out there cashed out 14, someone out cashed out 10. Now I've heard like, uh, you got friends, don't just don't be antagonistic and stuff. I'm not going to say in the names, but you know, one of the big hex whales, someone said like the, he sold like 17 million in the bear market things along the way as well. But yeah, don't, don't worry about these things. Okay. So just, just think about that. Now there was a game theory mechanic working during that time called the pulse chain and pulse X sacrifice. So he was able to collect like 550 million hex. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to like teleport back in time. And imagine imagine you're in the war room with Richard and you're saying to him, hey, bro, how the hell are you going to make us do a pump that big if you're only going to have $200 million? Because people are going to be dumping on you along the way. How does hex even get to that price? And he, he I'm trying to imagine him. He's saying... Oh, we got a pulse chain sacrifice. And then, you know, you critiquing, you'd be like, no, 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 no. People will see the prices going up. They're going to dump. And he'd be saying, no, they won't. Why would they dump? There's a pulse chain sacrifice. They're incentivized to get more points. Okay. Because I'm trying to imagine, remember, I'm trying to fud the air. I'm trying to imagine him having a conversation with another pleb like us. And he's saying, no, you don't know the hell. You don't know what you're dealing with, man. As the price goes up, people want to buy more. They don't want to sell. Because you know, that's why, friend, that's why he's where he is and we are where we are. Right? I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna squeaky chair, he's on a throne. So <laughs> so I hope you're understanding what I'm what I'm going walking through here. I'm walking through me trying to so we're here, me and you are here. Okay, this is probably where we are right now with Pulse Chain, Pulse X, E Hex, P Hex, Inc., P Die, remember not P Die, but everything else, okay? So I'm trying to imagine, it could be Pete, right, by the way, it could be him buying it as well. I'm trying to imagine us doubting the power of this pump. And I'm, I'm just, I'm thinking he would be saying, hey, we are doing a sacrifice. People will want to put it in, okay? And it worked. I think he, he took out like 550 million hex friends. That's the wild part, okay? Wild part. If you do 500 million hex, yeah, times like an average price of like, let's say 30 cents selling, that's $150 million, by the way. Do you remember his Ethereum sale? Friends, his Ethereum sale was only like, whatever was it, $250 million. So he was able to take out, by game theory alone, able to take out a lot of that sell pressure to like smash it down and it just was able to hold, everybody held. And it was able to do the trick, which is not a real trick, right? You just sort of do the profit rotation. So well, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm using an example. So he's not here to obviously tell you, hey, this is what I did He dumb dumb. He's not here to do that. I'm just here to tell you his whole game, uh, his whole logic of like, hey, A, B, C, D, it's gonna lead to humans doing these actions. That game mechanic plan blueprint he already did it four years ago and he got like perfect marks, 10 out of 10. It completely worked. But you would have never thought it would work. You're like, bro, 
that's not enough money to get it up there. That's not enough money because, but what I'm trying to say is with PDI, it's the same thing right now. What are we all saying? We're saying the SAC funds aren't enough to keep everybody in the system. Everybody's going to dump. There's not enough money to sustain them. And what's the other camp saying? The other camp is saying, no, we'll have farms for them. Uh, no, they don't want to leave. They'll stay in the ecosystem. They'll respect it. And then everyone's skeptical, friends. We're like, no, 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 no. I don't know, man. So just look, you're going to have to go with, obviously, you're going to have to go with the guy who did it before. All right. And this is obviously why, and this is why it's hyper volatile risk, but also that's why it's asymmetric upside. Um, you know, see, friends, he's, he's literally, he's hitting a target we can't even see, we don't even know exists. We can't even conceptualize it. So I, I can almost, friends, not even almost, you go listen to his old commentary about it with the P token and E token stuff. He's like, it's just crazy. He's so confident that this stuff's going to be like net value add. And you and I are like, how? We're all going to be dumping. And you're actually going to find, no, one's gonna, they're not going to dump as much as you think. They're not, right? Everyone, everyone assumes, okay, everybody just goes and bridges out to liquidity. Well, friends, I literally, I've done a post and I, I'm my mind blew so hard once I did the numbers on this. USDC circle, in this period of the de-pegging, it only lost like 23% of redemption of the whole market cap during a de-pegging when it came back, Okay. USDT honored everybody. They only lost 25% in the bear market. Think about that. USDT in a crypto bear market where there is no yield to be earned, okay? They earn the yield, bro. You know that? Tether uses your money in your cash account to go buy government bonds and earn the yield, and they pay you nothing. During a de-pegging crisis, only 25% redeems. I want you to think about that. Now, I want you to think about Richard Hart looking at this. He's like, oh, that's almost like 25 to 50% is worst case. Okay. And now I have incentives for them to stay in. So like our percentage is even less. Imagine Tether, friends, had a vehicle somewhere where you could go and earn yield maybe that number would be even less than 25%. Maybe people would be like, you know what, I'm just going to sit in this thing earning yield. All right, so I'm just showing you like, he's going to blow some minds, okay? And he's going to blow some minds, some wacky stuff is going to happen. And yes, it, it, it feels like, it feels like we're, so p friends, because it starts like near zero, right? <laughs> it feels like the plane's going to fly and everyone's like, nah, this plane will never make it to the sky. And he's like, he's just accelerating up to the sky. But once it gets up there, the mechanisms are in place and we're like locked in. Okay. And everyone's going to be like, bro, how the hell did this guy get this plane to fly? Okay. Now we're in autopilot at the top. Everyone's going to act like everything's sweet. Oh, crypto, everyone, crypto Twitter's losing their minds. Everyone will be wondering like, how did this guy, he's a magician. That's why I really do believe friends. They're going to call for his arrest. They're going to be like, Richard Hart is doing, he is doing some sort of trickery out here. Oh man, it's gonna be great. Well, well, oh, I can already see the Eric Wall essay in 2026. <laughs> I can already see it. Don't forget to love, like, and subscribe. Love you all.